What's going on everybody? Thank you for watching JG Tech Blog. Today's video is going to be a quick review of the Nexus 5 working on Metro PCS. Uh, first of all, just to show you, it's very simple to make it work on Metro PCS because it already comes unlocked from the company. If you order this from Google, it's uh, running for $350, $350. With the shipping and taxes, probably about $400. And then when they ship it to you, it's very simple. You just put in a Metro PCS SIM card and there you go. It's Metro PCS. And it runs LTE. So it is, because it's LTE 4G compatible, it works on the $60 plan which is unlimited for Metro. Uh, first of all I just want to say this is one of the best phones I've seen. It's the fastest as well. It works very very good. Uh, it just without no lag nothing. This is actually running at 2 it's been clocked at 2.3 gigahertz running a Snapdragon 800. That's the fastest Android they have at the moment out there. Um, it's a very nice screen. It uh, has a 1080p 445 pixel per inch um, screen. The display is just amazing. Uh, also, if you look at uh, the camera in the back, it's not as good as the Galaxy S4, the rival of this phone. It's actually a megapixel, but because it has this big camera, it gives you a very stable movement of uh, video. And also, just to show you guys a quick trick on this, if you take a picture, and I'll uh, show you, that was without HDR on. So if you put on HDR plus, if you turn it on, I'm sorry, that was on before. Now, once you turn it off, uh, you take a picture, it's much faster. But the quality when the HDR was uh, on was much better. Hopefully this is clear, if you guys can see that. I'm using my uh, uh, laptop camera, so it might not be as, but basically, once you have HDR plus on, usually takes better pictures. So if you do have the Nexus 5, I advise you to always have the HDR plus on. Uh, as for the front camera, you're looking at 1.3 megapixels. Uh, it's running KitKat. And to be honest with you, the software itself is not that great. I mean, you don't have a lot of abilities as you do on the uh, Galaxy S4. But it, to be honest, I mean, you don't always use those features. You don't always use the feature where you're looking at the phone, you're scrolling up, scrolling down with your eyes. Um, and uh, there was another feature where you uh, where you move from side to side uh, w with the movement of your hand without touching the screen. But the difference of the price between this and the Galaxy is about $200. I would rather spend that $200 instead of just waving it in my head. I could just touch the screen. I mean, I'm not that lazy. And if you think about it, um, it has Google now. See, it already pops up right there. Let me just turn on the volume for you guys. It's really responsive. So, for example, let me try... Um, uh, okay, by the way, it's running H here on top. Right now it's running H, which is, is not even full LTE at the moment. It's very fast. Uh, it's running HSPA. And let me just show you, go to a website and show you how fast this is working without the LTE on. So let's go to, I don't know. Um, well, actually, let me just do this. I'm going to do it while talking to the Google now. What is tomorrow's weather? Tomorrow's forecast for San Francisco is 15 degrees with rain. Open Dropbox. Google now. Open Dropbox. Google now. Open Dropbox. Opening app. So it's very fast and it functions very nice. Um, also, the like I said, I mean, for three hundred fifty dollars, that is not bad at all. This is a very very good phone. I, I honestly, I recommend you guys to get this for Metro PCS. Better than buying the uh, the S four, which goes for about. Uh, $600 because it's $550 plus taxes. You're looking at about $600. All right, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And thank you for watching.